the Royal Climb. You're watching another making up movie I do on the spot. And if this is your first time here, what I do is I pick randomly a genre, a place, and three other items, and I have to come up with a movie idea on the spot. And so far, it's been really interesting and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> wow, my shirt looks so wrinkled right now. It was my first day of classes online. And it was a lot, but they're fun classes. I like my classes this semester. Maybe if this video does well, I'll explain them. <laughs> okay. Genres. So far I've gotten drama a lot. So let's hope I don't get that again. Oh, I got romance. I'm usually so good at romance, but the one time I did get romance, I did not do as well. That was probably my worst idea I came up with using this way. So hopefully this time I can show I can do romance and tell a better story. Oh, this is fun. Middle East. <laughs> I actually went to Israel uh, in January. So I, I've been to the Middle East. <laughs> um, God, romance in the Middle East. I might just do a romantic movie in Israel because I, I don't, I don't want to get into things. I'm sure there's going to be some people commenting on this video, Israel isn't real. So, <laughs> three other items. Got one, two, three. Okay. We got adopted. So this could be an adopted person, adopted pet, adopted idea. Oh, we got money. Money. Oh. <laughs> we got the 80s. Ah. God, okay. Basically, to rehash what we have is we have romance, takes place in the Middle East, we have adopted money, and the 80s. Now, this does not mean the movie has to take place in the 80s. There could be perhaps flashbacks, or it starts in the 80s, perhaps when someone is adopted. Ooh, I had an idea. So, I have an idea, but I'm afraid... Because I'm not exactly sure how this really law works with having to be in the IDF. So I'm not going to go in that direction. I also don't want to bring the IDF in this because I know people are going to destroy me in the comments even though no one even sees these videos. So we're not going to bring the IDF into this. I see, I see this boy who was born into, in Israel. And in, he was born in the 80s, and he gets adopted by a family in America who aren't actually Jewish, <laughs> but he's Jewish. I love, I love the Jews, if you see another video of mine because I'm Jewish. Anyway, he gets adopted, and so now it's present day. So this guy's in his 30s, and... One of his parents might die, always death in movies. And he's actually a really rich, successful guy. Like he's a big time lawyer perhaps, or a CEO. And he's like really mad rich in everything. And so perhaps, no, not, no, no. Perhaps his adopted parents don't die. Perhaps he gets noticed that his real mom, his biological birth mom 
from Israel dies and they send us this all to him yeah he, they send this all to him and so he like never like he obviously because even though people are like Jewish is an ethnicity like it is so he kind of kind of knew he was Jewish because of the ethnicity you can easily take a DNA test and see that anyway so he knew he was Jewish but he's never really connected but his Jewish culture and his Jewish side and he he himself, he wasn't he's like not sure about going to Israel not anything but his adopted parents tell him he should pursue and he should go to Israel and pay his respects perhaps so this really rich guy goes to Israel and he goes to the funeral and he perhaps meets Oh god, I don't know the term. Maybe there's this woman who works at the funeral home and he meets her. And he says that he's in Israel for a few days and he really doesn't know what else to do. And she decides to help him out and shows him Israel and shows him the culture and Jewish culture and they fall in love but this guy is really rich and everything and he after the weeks up or something he goes back to America and they don't decide to keep the relationship going they come from two separate sides. It's really, it's honestly two separate sides of the world. If you look at it, America and Israel. So he decides not to keep the relationship going. But obviously when he comes back, he's different. He changed. He learned about his culture. He learned about his people. He sees the world differently now. And he can't get this girl out of his head. And so he decides to go back to Israel and start do his company there because Israel has so much technology and everything going on and it's very easy for him to transform it it honestly has it has a lot going on uh, so he goes to Israel and he does his business there and yeah he might lose some money but he can gain that back and he falls in he decides to stay with the woman and keep with yeah, they get married or whatever. They end up together. Yeah, that didn't go really into specific with scenes. But I feel like it could be a movie idea about a guy reconnecting with his culture. Because again, I love... It's very important to me to not just have stereotypical Jewish characters in movies. To have movies about Jewish people and about their culture and I mean our culture and to show it in a way that's positive positive and beautiful and in this way it's a romantic movie yes <laughs> and I think it could be in a positive way I have not seen this idea before that involves Jews and shows that can it can be educational for people and yeah I don't know I didn't really go into scenes with that I'm sorry guys I think the most when I was coming up with that action movie idea that one time I think I came up with like the most scenes for that yeah I'm sorry I, I might be a little bit sucky today I'm just my brain's a little fired fried from all the classes I was taking but I I think the idea is there and it's I had more time, I could plan it out more, but when I went on Birthright, I got to see all these different beautiful locations and learn all these things, and I think that can be very beneficial for a film, and Israel is such a beautiful place to fall in love. Uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry again that this was short. And I didn't go into many details. You're probably watching this be like, she's not even that tall, dude. I could probably do this. Also, you probably could do it too. <laughs> not gonna lie. 
but that's that's honestly you never know what you're gonna get this sometimes ideas are better than others that's just what happens I mean the I think it was two days ago I came up that other Jewish idea I think that's better of idea than this but this does in a way showcase Jews in a positive light that's very important I mean the fact that he of course I got money of course the fact that he's money has money is kind of stereotypical a stereotype type that Jews have but but he was not raised by Jews and did not connect at all with his Jewish culture so hopefully that stems away from the stereotype I don't know I mean I didn't even have to go into Israel or the Jewish path of this but because I got Middle East that's the way I went and it's honestly you never know what you're gonna get so but yeah I'm it's I mean, I'm sure only like 10 people are going to view this, but if a lot of people view this, I'm sure people are going to comment, Israel isn't real, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's all I gotta say, you know, share this with your friends, you know, I mean, I'm doing this all for fun, but I would love to, you know, get my ideas out there, have more people see it, inspire more people to try to come up with stories, uh, I mean, and now that class is starting to getting a little crazier for me so I guess if I have a following that would give me more motivation to continually doing this every day because doing this every day does take a lot of my ability because it's not just me doing this for 10 minutes I also have to edit and post it and everything so yeah give me a following anyway so thank you guys for watching this is real time Le oh comment subscribe like comment subscribe yeah and love you guys, and bye.